Good morning. I'm Gary Van Boris, the fire chief with the uh, city of Beacon. A short welcome, welcome you all here today. We have many first responders from volunteer to career people that made this uh, the occasion that we had the best outcome that we could have that day. And today our, um, our speaker, master ceremony is a past city of Beacon fire chief, Steve Van Buren, also deputy coordinator with the Dutchess County. Steve. It does two songs, Tim. <laughs> a few of my wonderful things. One of my wonderful things is the City of Beacon Fire Department. I'll tell you that. Are we sure? <laughs> I'd like to welcome everybody to the emergency responders clock dedication. Uh, this wonderful timepiece has been donated by Mr. Denny Myers, a resident of 43 Ackerman Street here in the city. Uh, back in March of 2012, he was severely burned in a fire in his home. He was rescued by members of the City of Beacon and Village of Fishkill Fire Departments. And it's because of that we're here today for this clock dedication that he has so uh, gratefully donated to the city. At this time, I'd ask the combined city of Beacon and Village of Fishkill Color Guard to present the colors. And then we'll have the national anthem sung by Anna and Elizabeth Senecola, with thanks to Principal Brian Soltish of the Rombout Middle School, who's allowing the girls to skip school to sing this. So we thank Brian for that. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still This time we'll have the invocation from Deacon Marty Molesky of St. John St. Joachim's Parish. <laughs> Detail on cover. Woo! Good morning. 
Lord, may everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your help so that all of our prayers and works may begin in you and by you be happily ended. Good morning. I was asked by my friend Denny to come to dedication of this clock this morning and to bless it. I have known Denny now for about a year and I can tell you what a wonderful, kind, friendly, and thankful man that he truly is. This clock that we're dedicating to the city of Beacon today was implemented by Denny to thank the many first responders and firefighters from the city of Beacon and the surrounding communities who were able to respond to a fire alarm on March 26th of 2012 at Denny's place of residence. It is also Denny's wish that this clock be dedicated to his loving mother, Lucy Meyer Harrison LeClaire, who went to our Lord 60 days after the fire. Denny, I wish to applaud and honor you for your generosity to the city of Beacon and for your kindness and thankfulness to all who came to your aid on that dreadful day. You are truly an outstanding member of our community and I'm honored to be acquainted with you. Thank you. Uh, before we continue with the program, uh, yesterday our sister city of Poughkeepsie lost a firefighter in the line of duty. Firefighter Tim Gunther, age 55, Ladder Company 2, succumbed to injuries following a structure fire on Church Street in that city. Firefighter Gunther leaves behind a wife and two children. The situation was strikingly simil similar to the fire we had at 43 Ackerman Street that we are here today to recognize our firefighters. A two and a half story wood frame with people trapped. At this time, I ask Deacon Marty to lead us in prayer and then we have a minute of silence to honor Firefighter Gunther and I'd also like to add NYPD Officer Brian Moore killed in the line of duty this week. When I am called to duty, God, whoever flames may rage, give me strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Let me embrace a little child before it's too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest, weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently put out the fire out. I want to fill my calling and give the best in me to guard my friend and neighbor and protective property. And if according to your will, while on duty I must answer death's call, bless with your protecting hand, my family, one and all. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we humbly entrust our brother Timothy. In this life you embraced him with your tender love. Deliver him now from every evil and bid him eternal rest. The old order has passed away. Welcome him into paradise, where there will be no sorrow, no weeping, nor pain with the fullness of peace and joy with your Son and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce our guests, starting with the Dutchess County Executive, Marcus Molinero. <laughs> Town of Fishkill Supervisor, Bob LaCola. Our new City of Beacon Administrator, Anthony Ruggiero. The Dutchess County Commissioner of Emergency Response, Dana Smith. City of Beacon Ex-Mayor, Clara Lou Gold. Our representing Mayor, Jim Michio, the Village of Fishkill is Rad Wilson. City Council members here this morning, George Mansfield, Peggy Ross, Pam Weatherby, and former council member Lou Amoroso. And Ali Mohammed's here as well, on his crutches no less. Uh, representing Police Chief uh, Doug Solomon is uh, Detective Lieutenant Lou Licato. Uh, City of Beacon Planning Board member Gary Barrick and from the Tyronda Garden Club who did the flowers, Norm McLeod. I think I missed one person from the county, right Randy? 
April Farley. See, I, I knew you were here. <laughs> okay, at this time, I'm going to turn the uh, mic over to our mayor, Randy Casal. <clears throat> Thank you. I'd like to welcome everyone here this morning for this dedication. I'm honored to be here as mayor of the great city of Beacon, and today especially to be able to stand beside a person whom I've had a pleasure of calling a friend for many years. Denny Meyer and I met each other as children when his mother Lucy and my mother Betty were friends working in the same factory. We grew up together and then grew old together. We are here today for three reasons. One, to celebrate, two, to honor, and three, to dedicate. We are celebrating the life of Denny Meyer and we're able to do so because of the heroic efforts of the people we are here today to honor, our emergency responders. Thank you. <clears throat> it is because of them that my friend Denny Meyer is still with us today. On March 26, 2012, a major house fire broke out at 43 Ackerman Street. Firefighters found Denny unconscious, suffering from burns and smoke inhalation in his burning house. They acted quickly, selflessly, and heroically to save his life. He stands here today with a new chapter of his life before him. At this time, I would like to welcome Denny's fiance, Karen, to our city as a new resident and offer our best wishes for their upcoming wedding and their new life together. <clears throat> In closing, I would like to thank all the emergency first responders in our community, our neighboring communities, for their unwavering commitment to keep us safe. When that alarm goes off, they don't know what they will meet or if they will ever return home. God bless them all. Let's give thanks to Denny Meyer for his generous donation to this beautiful landmark clock given to us as a constant reminder of our brave first responders who help keep our community safe. Thank you, God bless everyone, and God bless Beacon. At this time, I'm gonna read an event narrative of the 43 Ackerman Street fire. As we go through the narrative, the uh, members of both the fire department and the uh, ambulance corps that were involved that night, uh, as their names are read, they will step forward from their ranks so everybody can see who they are. On Monday evening, March 26, 2012, at 9.17 p.m., Dutchess County 911 dispatched the City of Beacon Fire Department, the Beacon Volunteer Ambulance Corps, and the Village of Fishco Fire Department with their FAST team to reported working fire with people trapped at the Meyer residence, 43 Ackerman Street. Ladder 3345 arrived on the scene in less than two minutes and encountered a confirmed working fire with people trapped and screams coming from inside the building. Firefighter Mark Romanelli immediately donned an SCBA and ran through the fire on the front porch to enter the building. The fire had already extended into the second floor. He encountered healthcare aide Daphne O'Connor on the stairs trying to remove Mrs. Lucy Meyer Harrison LeClaire from her wheelchair. Firefighter Romanelli immediately removed the health care worker to the safety of the street. Re-entering the building, he was assisted by firefighter Matt Smith. Together they both removed Mrs. LeClaire from the wheelchair and carried her from the house. The condition of the patient at that time was unconscious and unresponsive. Both the health care aide and Mrs. LeClaire were turned over to BVAC and Mobile Life EMS staff at the scene. Chief Dennis Leahy informed firefighter Romanelli at the time that there was still a third person trapped in the building. The village of Fishkill Fast Team had, had arrived at the scene by then. They were informed by command to immediately proceed with searches on the second floor to find the third victim. Lieutenant Brian Canero had positioned Fishkill's aerial apparatus in the driveway on the northeast side of the residence. Firefighter Dan Burke, Captain Brandon Knapp, entered a second the second floor through a rear window. They were met by firefighter Brian Davis, who was represented by his dad, Mike Davis, ex-chief of the Beacon Fire Department, and successfully located the third victim, who was Denny, 
also unconscious and unresponsive, approximately 15 feet from the window that the aerial ladder had been placed at. Together, firefighters Birkin Davis and Captain Knapp dragged the victim, later to be identified as Denny Meyer, Mrs. LeClaire's son, to the aerial ladder. It should be noted that at this time, command had given the order for all personnel to evacuate the building due to worsening fire conditions. Lieutenant Kevin Kilkenny proceeded to retrieve an inch and a three quarter hose line from the stairwell and provide cover while the victim was removed onto the aerial ladder where Lieutenant Canero brought the victim to the ground. All three victims were transported to local hospitals and later to the Westchester County Medical Center's burn unit. Ms. O'Connor and Mr. Meyer successfully recovered from their injuries. Sadly to say, Mrs. Lucy Meyer Harrison LeClaire succumbed to her injuries approximately 60 days after the fire. The following members of the Beacon Volunteer Ambulance Corps provided patient care at the scene and on the way to the hospital that night. If any of you are here, please step forward when I call your name to be recognized. Assistant Chief Phil Dynan, Lieutenant Chuck Foster, Lieutenant Dan Pagliaro, EMT Adam Likowski, EMT Adam Fish, EMT Debbie Pagliaro, EMT Kathy Lawrence, EMT Piero Giangrasso, EMT Regina Pagliaro, Paramedic Mike Bruce, and Driver Reed Ilo. The actions of these brave firefighters, the EMTs and the paramedics acted in the highest tradition of our emergency services at this fire. While one life was lost, two were saved. At this time, I'd like to ask Denny Meyer to come up to the mic. Well, what a wonderful day, and I'm so glad that I'm here alive, thanks to the heroic efforts of the first responders that arrived at the scene that night on March 26th. Uh, I am a native of Beacon. I love Beacon. My mother was a native of Beacon. Uh, she had moved up above Whitehall, and I had brought her back down two years before the fire to take care of her as she suffered from dementia. And during that time, she had forgotten to walk, so therefore, she was unable to walk on her own to get out of that fire. I am so thankful to Daphne, who was one of the nurse's aides that was taking care of my mother. She had only been working four times. Yet, the night of that fire, she did not run. She stayed to assist trying to get my mother out of the house. When the stair lift stopped working, and we couldn't get her down. I had run into the kitchen to try and protect her with wetting some towels to protect her from the heat and the smoke. And that's when I was overcome by the smoke and I laid on the floor and God, through the grace of God, allowed me to survive till the rescue workers got there. Uh, my lungs were badly damaged, but I'm so grateful to be alive. And I do thank God. I thank the first responders. Uh, I thank the city of Beacon for all that they have done for me. And a lot of thanks has been given to me today for donating the clock, but the true thanks belongs to the first responders. So if you feel a need to thank me, please thank the first responders because they are the ones that made this all possible. Uh, and as Randy and Steve had mentioned, uh, since then my life has completely turned around uh, I really was a rebirth because the night of the fire that the next day was my birthday. So I really truly was reborn and since that time I've met a wonderful woman, Karen, who has moved up from Long Island and things have come full circle. Uh, she is working for Mid-Hudson Regional and she is the director of nursing in a new cath lab that she is starting up. And a week from this Friday we will be getting married. And so that is another wonderful day. 
uh, and we have a wonderful life together. So I'm truly thankful. Uh, a lot of dignitaries have already been mentioned, so I will not call them out a second time. But I would like to thank a few of the city workers, uh, Zepp and his department for installing the foundation and the clock, Timmy Morgan who did the brickwork and the foundation itself, the Tyron de Flower Club for Garden Club for installing the flowers, planting the flowers. So I am just so grateful to be alive and I truly do thank God and I truly, truly do thank the first responders that are here today and those that could not make it and first responders throughout the country and the world. And I feel for the family uh, that lost their loved one the last few days, the, the fire in Poughkeepsie. I know what it's like every time I see something in the paper about a fire. It does not bring back bad memories because I thank God have all good memories. Uh, I really was not traumatized by the fire. I just got on with my life. And Karen is helping me to do that even more so. So with that, I thank you very much. And please remember my mother. I loved my mother. She was a single parent. She raised two boys, which is not easy in the 50s and the 60s. Uh, but we made it. And she was a wonderful lady. And I was glad that I could bring her back to Beacon to be with me for a few years before she really succumbed to the dementia and schizophrenia that set in. Uh, she d was in the hospital for those 60 days. She really fought hard through her injuries, and it really was her heart that just gave out. And so God bless my mother, and God bless Beacon, and God bless everyone that is here today. Thank you very much, and God bless Karen. Love you, babe. Oh, excuse me, one other thing. Uh, no, no, Randy mentioned uh, that my mother and Randy's mother were best friends, and my mother would often ask me, how are the twins doing? And I'd say, you know, Ma, uh, they weren't twins, if I'm not mistaken, I think Glenn was a year older. Glenn was a year older than Randy, but my mother always thought that they were twins. <laughs> so... You know, looking at Denny, uh, it's hard to believe that he spent 21 days in the burn unit at Westchester Medical Center. He was in the hyperbaric chamber three times. He suffered first, second, or third degree burns to approximately 70% of his body. His torso, back, legs, and arms were burned. And as we heard him tell us, uh, the fire has changed his life for the better. We've already met Karen. We all know he's getting married, and we all know that by all accounts, he's a very happy man. So, Denny, the city, the fire department, and I'm sure all the residents of Beacon wish you and Karen nothing but happiness and success. And thank you again for honoring our first responders with this impressive clock. At this time, I'd like to ask, uh, Lieutenant Dexter and Chief Van Voorhis to take the bunting off the plaques and we will read the inscription on the plaques and then after that we will have the blessing and dedication by Deacon Marty. The plaque on the south facing side of the clock. City of Beacon Emergency Responders. This clock is dedicated to the City of Beacon to recognize and honor the men and women of Beacon's fire, police, and EMS personnel, past, present, and future. It is further dedicated in recognition of all the men and women, emergency responders, and medical personnel who put their lives on the line to protect and serve the peoples of the world when disaster strikes. And on the east-facing side, in honor of all Beacon Emergency Responders, to honor the bravery and dedication of all City of Beacon Emergency Responders, this clock made possible by Dennis G. Meyer, 
in loving memory of his mother, Lucy Meyer Harrison LeClaire, dedicated May 2015. Marty? Okay. Blessed are you, Lord God of mercy, who through your Son gave us a marvelous example of charity and the great commandment of love for one another. Bless this clock and all who are here today who generously devote themselves to helping others when they are called on in times of need, that them faithfully serve you in their neighbor. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, amazing grace. Preset. closing comments we'd like to thank the Department of Public Works Highway Superintendent Anthony Zepp Tomaselli maintenance mechanic Davey Way maintenance helper Ruben Sibbins heavy equipment operator Adam Sovic and Alberto Soto who basically worked on the clocks installation also Mason Tim Morgan and I forgot to mention Mike Tancri from DPW as well. And Mason, Tim Morgan, they did a great job. This is all Dennings Point brickwork that's been recovered, which is a local industry long gone, but it's part of Beacon's history. And is Bob Murphy here? I thought he sure would be here. This is part of history. Uh, but this is all stuff that Beacon at one time was famous for. And also I'd like to thank... Chief Gary Van Voorst and Lieutenant Tim Dexter for putting everything together, taking the lead, and also for giving me the honor to be the Master of Ceremonies today. I'd like to thank you all for coming. Have a great day.